get notified <laughs> that was a police officer. That's interesting. Good morning, YouTube. This is Cruise Man, and as you can see, it is a very cool and foggy, misty morning in Carrollton, Texas. Welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. I'm going to implement my cautious riding techniques this morning because uh, this fog and mist uh, kind of puts a light coating of moisture on the road. As you can see, my TPMS warning is going off again. I still haven't put any air in that front tire, but I'm going to as soon as I get home today, I promise. Well, I'm very excited this morning to let you know that we have now introduced the video on the Keyson Tailblazer and Pathblazer for the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing. Now, my installation and review video is already on the YouTube channel by the time this motor vlog gets posted. So if you haven't watched it yet, I highly encourage you to do so. Now, uh, I will give you a little disclaimer, and that is that video was obviously sponsored by Keyson. I also edited down a couple versions of the video for their Amazon page. But when I made my statement in the video about being a firm believer in the uh, Tailblazer and Pathblazer products, uh, that was 100% my idea. They didn't ask me to say that, and that is absolutely the truth. I have had these products on every Goldwing I've owned, and I was super excited when they came out with these for the 2018 Plus because I do not feel safe without these products installed on my motorcycle. Now I'm going to tell you quickly in this motovlog how I use the Pathblazer and the Tailblazer. First of all, I do not ride with the headlight modulators in the on position all the time. And the reason I don't do that is because I just don't think they're as effective. Besides, if I pull up behind a vehicle, like right now behind this car in front of me, and I have the path blazers flashing or modulating, he might think I am a police officer or somebody and I'm trying to get him to pull over. And I've had it happen because I did it once early on, not thinking about it. So to not cause any issues like that, I only use the path blazers when I'm going through an intersection and I see traffic coming toward me, especially if somebody is in the left-hand turn lane, like getting ready to make a turn. I would say about like right here, I will turn them on right now so that they get notified <laughs> that was a police officer. That's interesting. That's a good opportunity for me to tell you that these are legal in all 50 states in Canada. But if I see an oncoming traffic in a left-hand turn lane, then about 150 to 200 feet before I get to that intersection, I will hit my high beam so that that uh, path blazer begins flashing or modulating. That's the way I use it. Now, if I'm in the right-hand lane and I see a car at a stop sign about to pull out into this roadway, I'll also hit those modulators. And you basically, you just turn on your high beams and they begin modulating or flashing. 
And I can't tell you how many times I've gone through an intersection or I've seen cars trying to enter the roadway from my right hand side. I can't even tell you how many times I've seen them. You know how they kind of creep out and you don't know, are they going to go? Or are they going to stop? Are they? And I'll hit those modulators and I mean it stops them dead in their tracks. They, they stop. I've had it happen so many times I can't count. Now, the tail blazers, which are the brake light tail light modulators. Now, when I first started working with Keyson on this, they sent me a set of tail blazers that basically modulated the brake lights. Now, if you know how the tail light brake light configuration is on the Goldwing on the 2018 model the tail light or the running lights that are on all the time are at the bottom and the brake lights are at the top it's like a row of LED lights at the top and the first set they sent me was only modulating the brake light and it was good and it was effective but it wasn't as effective as I thought it could be if it were to modulate both the tail light and the brake light so after a couple of revisions Keyson sent me a set of tail blazers which now they are selling and it modulates both the brake light and the tail light very impactful, very visible from the rear. Now the way these work is when you apply your brakes, they begin flashing very rapidly and then they gradually slow down to let the person behind you know you're decelerating. And it's also a little more visually attention getting I guess you might say because it's not a steady flash it's a decelerating flash and eventually after a few flashes it becomes a steady brake light just like your normal brake light but what I will do and I'll show you a scenario when I come up here to us when we become stopped of course I hit my brakes and I come to a stop but if I d if I don't have anybody behind me and I'm at a stop sign or a stoplight and I see someone coming up behind me I will release the brakes and hit the brakes again just to create that flashing again so that the person coming up to the stoplight behind me sees it they see that I'm there and again I think the tail blazers are an incredibly important safety product. Now I will put links in the description of this video for you to be able to order these on Amazon. And there's a lot of products over the years that I've recommended to my YouTube audience. But I honestly believe, I, or I should say I honestly don't believe there's any product any more important for your Goldwing from a safety perspective than these tail blazers and path blazer. I just, I'm a firm, firm, firm believer in these two products. Somebody asked me the other day, if you had to pick between the tail blazer and the path blazer, which one is the most important? It's a tough, it's, that's a tough pick. For me personally, I'm going to have both of them on my bike. I guess if I had to choose, I would probably pick the tail blazers because I'm always concerned about people coming up behind me, not seeing me, and or they're distracted. And I could use the flash to pass. If I had to, going through an intersection, I can flick that flash to pass uh, to flash my headlights, my high beams. It's not as effective as the path blazers, but it, you could get by with that if I had to. But honestly, I, 
I, you know, I, I think both of them have saved my butt numerous times. I just, I, again, I just think for this amount of money and for the amount of safety they provide, uh, I think they're well worth it. Now, there's also a tailblazer that goes to the brake light, the high mount brake light, underneath the Honda luggage rack. So if you have a Honda t uh, trunk, trunk rack with the Honda brake light, it's very easy to add the tailblazer so that your high mount brake light also modulates. And I will be coming out with a video on that uh, to show you how to install it. It's very easy to install. Now you see here I'm coming to this stop, even though it's a green light, there's a lot of traffic, and there's a car behind me coming up kind of at a distance, and I'll hit my brakes a couple of times so that I get that tail blazer modulation going, just to be safe. That's my motor vlog today, is all about safety and all about being seen, and uh, the path blazer and tail blazer, the importance of those items, I think is a great safety product something i think every one of you should consider uh, we're wrapping up our 2020 honda goldwing survey if you haven't taken the survey yet please do we'll be doing our drawing for the hundred dollar amazon gift card and some other stuff other prizes uh, on february 1st hey if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to click that little subscribe button down below and if you hit the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new motor vlogs, new installation and review videos. Don't forget to go over and check out the installation and review video on the Path Blazer and Tail Blazer. And I will see you the next time on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.